Okay. Hello. Hi, Faith Mumo. Congratulations. This is Wahiga from Citizen TV. Thank you. My goodness. Okay, I don't know where to begin. Uh, how are you today? And uh, did you expect that this is how uh, this day would end? I'm very excited. Even in the morning, I didn't expect something like this that will happen at the end of the day. So I've been revising all this time. I even didn't expect that. Always, my father always told me that I can do. Even I didn't expect a four that I was expecting even a 400 and above. He has always been encouraging me to get such a high mark. I know we ask the top uh, students every year this question, but let me ask you again, what is the secret? How do you emerge top uh, in the country out of 1.18 million uh, candidates? So first, the first thing to do is to put God in it, everything that you do. You know God is the beginner and the end of everything. So I'm very prayerful. Secondly, to always work hard, never give up. That is something that I've been learning from very many people because when you give up, you're going to fall off on the way. And there are always people who are there to get you up. Like my teachers, they have always been to get me up. Because when I was being defeated by other people, I would always cry, but my teachers could tell me, I know you and you can pass. Okay. Um, you know what, you know, again, in 2019, I was here in studio when the KCP results were announced. And that time, the top candidate said their biggest challenges or challenge was, you know, sort of exam stress, pressure, expectations from parents and so forth. But this time around, you faced an extra set of challenges. Talk about the pandemic. You're worried about your health, being home for a long time, coming back to school, uh, very unexpected, having exams at a different time. How, uh, in a sense, stressful were those challenges for you and, and how did you weather that storm? So you don't need to pressure up your mind. You know, God has everything and maybe this corona was brought by God. So I took it up and wow. I knew that I'll always do it. And I didn't expect that at the one day I could become something like this. So I will always keep on revising, knowing that there is a time I'll still do my case, even if it is um, after around three years, I'll still do it. So I kept on revising encouraging other people that they can make it. Faith, I, I now begin to understand how you emerge tops. You're a very confident and very focused young lady. Keep going. Um, so what do you want to do now with your life uh, after high school? What are your dreams? So after I go to Kenya, this is my dream school. I want to become a neurosurgeon because a lot of have been head damages and it has been helpful for me to see people like um, that boxer in Kisumu, Congestina, you know, it's very hurting. So I decided to become a neurosurgeon. My teachers will always encourage me because you tell me that the pain I have is becoming such a person. Okay, uh, very inspirational, I must say. Any, any last word? Um, and, and, um, and, and, and let me ask you this. What's your yes. encouragement? There are those who did not perform as they had hoped. What's your message to them? Uh, you obviously are, are very excited right now, but there are those who may not have quite performed as expected. Obviously, we know the challenges of 2020. What's your message to them? So, you know, for me, even my dad is not in the job right now, but I can tell those people not to give up, to be very thankful, because God can do a miracle that you never expect in life. So keep on praying to God, telling him your needs, Happily, persistently, even do everything that you can in your life. Mm. Don't think that because you performed at 200 and got at 200, don't think that you cannot become a boxer in life. There is that talent in you. Don't look at the negative part of you. Just look at the positive side. You cannot be good in education, but you can still be good in sports, in drama, in everything. So just try to look at the positive side of life. Don't be a person who always looks at the side of life. Because if you do that, you're not, you're not going to perform well. You're not going to be prosperous in your life. Mm. So just look at the positive side of life and keep on praying to God to remove you from that burden because God is there. He's, he's there for you. Don't think that because you have performed poorly mm -hmm. that you're not going to become a better person in the future. Faith, I must say, I am impressed. I, now, we don't usually do this, but I can give you 30 seconds to thank anyone who you feel contributed to the success. They say success belongs to, you know, it's a, success is not just one person. There's a, a team around that. Um, anyone you want to thank at this time? Yes, a lot of people. First, to thank my mighty God, my God. I've been persistent to that God. And I just cry when I hate my God who is helping me in this. Second, to thank my parents. 
They've always bought me everything that I need my studies, my teachers, to thank them because I know that my teachers are going to be there. I know that, you know, my teachers have been there for me. My friends who have always competed with me, I want to challenge them to, when you go to high school, let's continue with that competition. May, you, may they have that spirit of being competitive because if it's not their competition, I will, I will not have come this far. And to also thank my enemies because your enemies, they're always the person who's going to make you prosper in life, in life because if the one who is going to make you know that you have a, a, a negative side of it, so you will have to keep on moving and keep on moving. Faith, I must say you're a smart and focused young lady. I really wish you all the best uh, in the coming days. And once again, congratulations. Enjoy this moment. And uh, we are very proud of you. And the nation is proud of you as well. And your dad, yeah. just for the, uh, some of the experiences that you have uh, walked us through uh, in regards to the 2020 KCP experience uh, as well.